Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today I have got another food shopping haul for you and I've been to Sainsbury's because I needed some herbs and spices that they just don't do in Aldi or places like that. So I'm going to do what I always do, take you through everything I've bought and then at the end I will let you know how much I've spent and take you through next week's meal plan. I've got quite a few new meals to try this week as well so I'm looking forward to those. So I start off with the fruit and veg. I got some red onions, some monge too, some mixed chilies. Some of these imperfectly tasty tomatoes, these were only 49p. I got a pack of mixed peppers and I've just noticed that this one is like all squishy, but I can just cut that bit off and use those, it'll be fine. Some Maris Piper potatoes, these were only £1.15 for two and a half kilos and Maris Piper are really nice. Uh, some courgettes, some fresh coriander and some spring onions. I got some red seedless grapes, some Kanzi apples, Big bag of spinach and a cucumber, some pak choy for one of my meals, some romaine heart lettuce, mushrooms, and I also got some of these butternut squash cut chips, crinkle cut butternut chips. Um, we're just trying to eat a little bit healthier and make some better choices, so I thought we would try those out. I've got two of these jerk chicken Jamaican patties. The boys really like things like this. I've got one for the older two because they're quite spicy. Just pop those in their lunch or something. Some hot pan tablets for Steve. I picked up two of these House of Chicken spicy buffalo pretzel chicken breast chunks with a blue cheese sauce. As you can see, they were £2.50 down to £1.69. They look really interesting, and what I might do is put these in a wrap for the boys with like some lettuce and the blue cheese sauce maybe do some chips with those i got some cheese strings these are a pound for four at the moment and then i also got some of the pizza cheese strings we have had them before but one of my boys swears we haven't so <laughs> i bought a pack for him to try anyway so i got four lots of those um, some pepperamis and some fridge raiders. They're just really good to have in for snacks for the boys. If they're hungry, I can say grab a fruit and a few bits of protein and it just fills them up a bit better. So the lunchbox mini pepperamis, you get 10 and they were two pound. The fridge raiders were two pound and you get six mini packs. So I always try and keep those in the fridge. I got some cauliflower, like frozen cauliflower for one of my recipes and some crinkle cut chips. I also got some bare naked noodles. I have actually had these quite a few times. If you've been watching my channel for quite a while, you'll know that, oh, it was probably two years ago maybe, uh, Steve and I went on a real health kick and we had these noodles all the time. And I've got a lot of videos showing them and they're not as bad as everybody makes out. They are fine if, as long as you rinse them really well before you cook them and don't expect them to taste like pasta or noodles, then they're kind of just a little bit firmer so they don't break apart as easy um, but they do bulk out meals and they're very very low carb low calories and low fat so i got a pack of those because i'm doing a chicken stir fry kind of recipe i got some ginger paste and some nor stock pots these are just the chicken ones they were a pound for four i got some rice and i didn't go for boiling the bag this time i'm just going to do my own Finally got my hands on some dishwasher salt after I think four different weeks of trying. I just couldn't seem to get it anywhere. Um, some pasta. I got some Moonlit Skies and White Cashmere Imperial Leather Bath, like bubble bath. A deodorant. We got some hot and spicy pickled onions. I really, really like these in salads. Some Henderson's Relish, which is so good. We've only ever tried like one bottle of it before and I really, really like it. I got a huge tomato ketchup because we had run out completely. I also got two lots of lime juice because we didn't have any in and I miss lime juice. Like I use it all the time in cooking. So I got two of those. I got some breaded ham for sandwiches and lunches, some cheese and onion rolls as well. They just make a change like the sausage rolls. I got a pot of this chipotle and lime flavoured seasoning. I thought that might be quite nice to put on chicken breasts and things. I got some Primula cheese and ham cheese spread. This is only a pound at the moment. And some Clover Light, which is £1.50. Two lots of these sugar-free jellies. I think they're £2. Yeah, £2 for six. And they're just really nice to have in the fridge. I'm such a kid. I love jelly. And they're about four calories. So I got two of those. So I'm a free range British eggs a rapeseed oil one cow cooking spray 
I got four tins of tuna chunks in brine and the Prince's actually worked out better value than Sainsbury's own and I prefer those so I got those. Some extremely hot scotch bonnet and habanero pepper sauce. We just like our sort of chilli sauce. Let's focus. We like our chilli sauce on pretty much everything. Three pot noodles when the boys want to make some lunch. This piri piri chicken flavour is very very nice and it's quite spicy but it's got a lot of flavour in it so I got three of those and they're only 65p at the moment. King's Mill soft white bread. I got two of these Cadbury's Heroes milk chocolate desserts because they were on offer. So you get two dairy milk chunks and two Whisper. And uh, they were, I think they were one pound, one pound seventy five instead of like three fifty. No, one pound fifty instead of three pound. That's what they were. So I got two of those. You get four in each. I also got a big block of Pilgrim's Choice Mature Cheddar. I think this was three pound for 550 grams. I got some Lenore Gold Orchid Softener. I just absolutely love the scent of this one. I really, really like it. They didn't have the, I think it's vanilla cookie for Breeze. I really, really like. So I got vanilla and magnolia instead. Hopefully it is a similar scent. And then a huge fairy. I do need to go to Home Bargains to stock up on things like this, but I just thought I'd get get it while I could. So the big one was five pound instead of six and you get 35 washes. It was one of those expensive shops where I just needed to top up on things. So I got some finished Powerball Quantum dishwasher tablet, 77 in there, and they were £10. Um, I got some free range eggs, but I also got some of these Burford Browns. We sometimes just like to have like just eggs with some like bacon medallions or something. So I thought I'd get some for a treat because these are really, really good. Um, just really tasty. It sounds strange, but... They're just really, really nice. So I've got some of those, some chewing gum, and just to put in the car. Some of these are Snacker Jacks. These are kicking sweet chili flavour. I thought that sounded really nice for a little snack now and again. I think they were one pound thirty-five. Some Maryland Choc Orange Mini Cookies. How many bags? Yeah, six bags in there, and that's about a pound. Some of the Seabrook loaded fries, we've got six bags of the salt and vinegar and they're just like chip sticks. And then I got six bags of the sour cream and onion and they're like little balls. And these were a pound each. Also I got some Doritos chili heat wave. These are one pound 25 for five bags. Pack of brunch bars and a pack of yogurt breaks. I got some poppets for like a movie night or cinema or that kind of thing for the boys they were a pound a pack and these are the mix-ups so they've got toffee salted caramel multi crunch and chocolate some Lancashire oven bottom muffins that I just pop in the freezer they were 79p two lots of chocolate chip brioche rolls as a like a grab-and-go breakfast two lots of the oat milk and then coffee wise we got some Coffee pods for our Nespresso machine, you get 30 in here and it was £4.75 so I thought that was quite good. Although I don't know if they are the aluminium ones, I find the aluminium ones work so much better. They're not, they're plastic but it's fine, it's still coffee. They just don't seem to come out as well when they're the plastic pods but yeah I thought that was quite a good price, 30 for £4.75 and I get the number 9 like quite strong or very strong. They didn't have any Milicano or anything, so I got this Lavazza Americano, and this was £2.75, so similar price, and it's usually about £4.70, so hopefully that's quite nice for the instant. Some apple squash, which is not quadruple concentrated, it's only double, thank you Sainsbury's, please don't change it, because it's a nightmare. <laughs> And then I also got one of these lovely candles. I saw these in there at Christmas with the stag head and they're eight pound. And this is like a winter spice. It smells so nice. Um, this was reduced to two pound 40. So I got one because I absolutely love the smell. And I thought the jar might be nice at Christmas just to pop out. You could put a tea light or something in it. You don't have to throw it away. It's just really nice. Like I love little stags and things. I got myself a new meal planner, which I will show you properly in a minute. It's got a magnet on the back and you can write your meals down the side. You can also have a shopping list and some little like post-it notes and 
stick it on your fridge my magnetic one is also really hard to film because the light reflects off of it um so i got this i thought this might be a bit better and you get 52 so you get one of these a week and you can just tear it off and you can always take it to the shop with you to remind you what you're having which is quite a nice idea i also got a habitat wilderness bed set this is a double and i just thought it was a really nice color like we've got a gray bedroom we usually go for kind of grays and things but I thought this might make quite a nice change. I think that's quite good for £10. So all in all, I got a lot of shopping. I did spend £150, just over, I think it was £152. But I have stocked up on things like dishwasher tablets, washing liquid, um, comfort. I also bought the duvet cover. We got loads and loads of fresh veg. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put all this away. Then I'm going to write out my meal plan on my new planner. And I'll take you through it. We've got a lot of low carb We've got a lot more healthy, um, just new recipes that are going to involve more veg, less junk, basically. So I'll take you through all that in a minute, or for you it will be now. So this week's meal plan, we always go from Thursday. So tonight I've already got some chicken out of the freezer and we're going to have chicken curry with boiled rice. Tomorrow night the boys are going to have pretzel chicken salad wraps with chips or wedges. And Steve and I usually eat separately on a Friday, so we're going to have lime and chilli marinated chicken breast with the smoky paprika butternut chips. On Saturday, I've got turmeric and coriander sea bass recipe with lime cauliflower rice. Sunday, we're gonna do some harissa chicken and I'm gonna do a spiced roast cauliflower with that and then the boys can have some roast potatoes and veg as well. On Monday, I'm gonna do a Thai prawn rice with monge tu and red pepper. Tuesday, I'll do the naked noodle stir fry and then I'll just do normal noodles for the boys. And then Wednesday, we're going to have a turkey tender stem broccoli monge to spiced curry with like tin tomatoes and all that kind of thing in as well. So that is my meal plan for the coming week. All of these meals will appear in my What's For Dinner videos that I put up every Tuesday. So if you want to see what they come out like, then make sure to click subscribe. Leave me a like if you've enjoyed this video and I'll be back really soon with another one. Take care, guys. Mm -hmm.